It's actually a very interesting poem. Kind of beautiful, but also kind of dark. I was wondering when you turn up, had our small our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Because I'm a god. That's what I do. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. You're gonna nice guess Ja Rule? Chaos. A very good guess. Are still the color very of good. Kicking the kidneys two days on. So, right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Yeah, we knew now it was going to be hard. Not the time to second guess yourself. We knew it was going to be hard now and not great for a bit. To visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. <gasps> Joshua. Oh, this is this is important. Yeah. Maybe he'll tell me that story he's been telling everybody but me. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Here we go, Chad, here we go. Very little, I'm afraid, despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. Mm. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. Yeah. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. Right. That's the scripture. You Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind mm. not properly attuned to your body. Interesting. His mind. Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle. And fail to contain him here inside me. Sorry, inside you. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. F. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. 
and I've always had a soft spot for my brother. <laughs> that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. Jesus. Clyde. Tarya, please. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, but he's coughing blood. Can you? There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. Oh, God damn it. Okay. I mean, Tarya, I, okay, but can you get him some water, please? That's actual blood. Well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all Tyre told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an F. army of monstrosities. Okay. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding. Oh, so she the finished the ship. Okay. The ship. Or maybe it's close to we finishing. Have to get them out of there. Okay. And we shall. Okay. So prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. We we don't have a time for a lecture, but I'm this down. Route, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. Get him, Jill. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. Mm. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separate. All right, we travel All right. together. Clive. As family. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. Yeah, the music is great. Look after him. Oh, are we leaving Jill behind? Oh, well, Jill might not be ha happy about that. Bro, just some, bro, more side quests just popped up. Okay, fair. <laughs> bro, I just looked, I was like, do I see green? Okay. And the new hunt. I want to take on these hunts as well. Oh, the Megath brothers in the quiet sands of Rosaria. We might actually have to go do that. Okay. 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 All right, we, we will do those side quests, but not just yet. Not just yet. The, ga I, the game, I can sense what the game wants me to do, wants me to continue, at least for now. But here, hold on, let's, let's set this play and then we'll take a quick break. Cause time is just being crazy right now. Is it possible that all four of us are going to be here fighting together? No way, right? Oh, chat, this is the strongest party. This is it's the like strongest party. Four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Canva was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Chat, we're about to drop the hottest mixtape. Oh. Twin side. Aren't we? But that's why, Chad, if you see something cool or funny that you like, that's why it's important to uh, make sure you make a clip and post it so we can have them. 
Hey, what's up, Peter Ryan? Hello. Uh, it goes really well. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. Hey, Taki. Um, like there was some cool stuff that happened, but no. Oh, actually, you. D okay, there was one epic thing. I fought the uh, the huge lightsaber uh, fallen statue iron giant thing. That was pretty dope. We Other than that, I mean, we, we did a little bit of the main quest and some side quests. they would allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own. Nothing too crazy other than that. Oh, that looks like a problem. Take it. I'll take that too. Good kill, whoever just killed him. Not bad. Oh, as a tight door behind no, not yet. As far as I know. Eating Nutella out of the jar at <laughs> midnight, you know how it is. You know, I don't actually really eat Nutella, even though I think it's delicious. I don't think I've actually ever bought Nutella in my life. Listen, I support it. That's what you need to do. I support it. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay. Sorry to keep you waiting, my friends. Were you gonna stab Joshua, you little jerk? F you. I mean, I've had Nutella before. It's not like I haven't had it. I've had it at night too. I just I don't buy it. I haven't had it in a while. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. <laughs> Very funny. But also accurate. Oh, you just found it. I get it. I get it. Well, hello, my friend. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. That was uh, that was a good kill, chat. God, the game is gorgeous. The music is beautiful. Night Tella, wow. I do. What to now then? Bound for the free cities, perhaps? Oh, no need to say if you'd rather not. We all have our reasons. I ain't exactly feeling like sharing with strangers myself. Truth be told, we could do with a bit of inspiration. Don't know which way to turn no more. I was doing a roaring trade back in Oriflam, boy right up until the poor Drake lost her noggin. So. Or enjoy me luck in the desert. And the fang went the same way. Well, don't get me started on the mess in the blooming dominion. Mm, mm. I suppose I could try Camber next. But knowing my luck, the old place be crawling with the works before I'd even say we stole. Well, as I always say, where there's crisis, there's opportunity. The opportunity to mint gill, that is. You're right. So, where to? Where to next? Be made in ash. Dorks even carry Gil. To hell! That was good. Hmm. Have a good day, sir. Listen, I, you know, you don't know what's gonna happen. Right, Dom? You don't know. You don't know when you're gonna need. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. 
His accent is your local region, Bristol, your England. Agent. That's actually pretty dope. What happened here? Where are your comrades? I feel like this game has a lot of different English accents. The flood up ahead. Yeah, the previous guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Oh man. Turned every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. That may be true. We can't let those monsters reach the... Hoko, you catch your breath. Thank you. Oh, encampment is. I would head. give him a potion if it let I'm me, just bro. Off the track. I could save his life, but Clive's like, I might need it. They must not reach. Tabor. And I even the Phoenix is here. He could heal him. Oh, forgive me. Lord Cougar. <laughs> this is advanced cinematics. Potion can't heal that. Mr. You're right. Soldier. I was kind of wondering though, wouldn't it be crazy if you like if you didn't actually accept the quest, right? He's like, please, they must not. And you just go, eh, I'm kind of busy. You just walk off and he's just looking like, close. wait. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Like, how cruel would that be, you know? You're like, actually, I'm going to go check out the hot springs. He's like, wait, no. Yeah, wouldn't that be just like horrible? Another yeah, please help. Spot. Cool story, bro. They're I'm out. Now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Well, we're here because we're... Oh, I see it. Oh, that's actually... Okay. Okay, sorry, Chad. Joshua's just showing off now. I literally saw him. Okay, you know what, little bitch? No, 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 no. This is what you wanted. Right, Choka Steve? Right? Yeah, that's what you wanted. I was just trying to dodge. You know what? I beg of you! <laughs> Yeah, that guy must have been done. Oh, that's not, we're not, no, it's not over yet, but, oh, your friend tried to come save you, but it availeth you not. Get your ass on the ground. I'm your god now, you bitch. Now, where was I? Wow, you're actually still alive? <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to be silly. And that Choke Steve went crazy. I was like, you know what? You know what, Choke Steve? Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg. Five goes, we, we need to move on. They're like, but Clive, we already cleaned the village. We should go help him. He's like, we're busy. Joshua's like, oh, brother. What's happened to you? You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. He's His dead. Wounds were too deep. <sighs> I'm sorry, friend. He was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it.
Be safe, friend. It's dark out there. You seem familiar. Have we met? No. You must have me confused with someone else. Yeah. Wait. That skull. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Oh, man. Your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! Oh! No! There is no chat. I seek battle. I seek battle only, only with those. Ah, but he challenged me. But he challenged me out of loyalty and duty, not because he wants to. If he doesn't swing at me, I won't swing at him. No, he. There's no honor, and he's just gonna die for nothing. Kupka is gone. Like, it's, he's gonna die for literally nothing. His his band of people is gone. There's no one to even avenge, you know? Like, it's, it's just nothing. Well, the thing is, so, so a fallen Zero Messiah likes to, likes to take, like, well, it doesn't matter about crushing the weak. A true Zero Messiah only seeks challenges from those who are equal or greater. That's the only reason he, the, the only way he can get excited, right? So as long as he doesn't swing at me, I'll let him live. When your wounds have healed and your head has yeah. cooled, there we go. Come and find me if you must. I'll be waiting, Though I bitch. Your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. That's much better. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? <laughs> He's a hero on the side. What do you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us. Of your crimes, you are an outlaw, a murderer, not some, some man honorable, like you or anyone God. else. I am that is greater like, than you. Like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave. Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. I'll be waiting, Bish. And I'll probably have better equipment, so you better upgrade yours, too. Also, Chad, I gotta set a good example for my little brother. And yeah, I would rather him not die. I'd rather him live. And help others. Yeah, why is he going taken on me? Listen. You know, I'll be ready. I'd rather face him when he's in his true power. Then it'll be a glorious contest. <laughs> Golly, no! Joshua has forgiven me. And I have forgiven myself. Hey, Torgo, you hungry? <laughs> you, want a, you want a bite to eat, Torgo, before we go? Huh? <laughs> okay, Joshua. Come on, dude. That was way too much for some antelope. All right, Torgo, eat. Okay, he's hungry. I'm like, it's just antelope, and I see Joshua summoning meteors. I'm like, Joshua, what is... No wonder you're so tired, bro. Listen, it was... It was for my dog, Domsky. He needed to eat. Have you been? Yeah, antelopes. There are a few places I haven't. Oh, oh, excuse me. Fine, sir. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Man, I, I gotta, I gotta stop attacking Way people when I don't know who they are. 
There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. <laughs> Dom, you missed it, dude. Earlier, I was on my chocobo, and my chocobo drop kicked a weary traveler. I didn't realize they were like a weary traveler at the a traveler at the time, but my chocobo destroyed them. Anything else? Take no, that's care. it. What brings you to our humble village, young man? If it's our artisans you're here to see, then please. But do try not to interrupt their work. Zero, I only seek challenge equal to great or greater to my power. Also zero. Die antelope! It was to feed Torgo. He's a growing pup. He needs food. He's like 25 years old. Somehow. He just needs to eat. What the? My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. The head her now. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Oh, Knight of the Undying. Of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? A member of the Undying, a secret society sworn to protect and serve the Rossfields of Rosaria and the Dominant of the Phoenix, who was always born in their line. After her order rescued Joshua Rossfield from the ruins of Phoenix Gate and nursed him back to health, Jote was tasked by her order to accompany and protect him on his journey to uncover the truth of Ultima. The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Mm. Rise, Yote, you have Yote. my... You have my sword. I'll give you my one of these countries. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Yard. Oh, God, dear. Beyond any doubt. Yeah. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Yard is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. Hmm. For Canva. Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Yeah. Barnabas Tharm. Yeah. Yeah. We need to meet him, chat. What's up, AJ? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're, uh, we're having some fun here, dude. The plot is thickening. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave. 
Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce! Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not How dare you? <laughs> oh. That is a bad sign. The round table of the Zero Messiah, what? Distinguished members that of the guy. Force. You must forgive his majesty this intrusion. We gotta go meet him, what chat. What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king he has come to save us from the Akashic. Is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. For I have and come back to say compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colours of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons. You, that's such a bold thing to say. Show me your power. Show me your power. You would wield. You would wield my blade. You would wield the blade of the Zero Messiah. Pathetic creatures. Oh, chat. That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. Ned, yeah. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. Oh, this is... As I... Am I gonna meet Odin this fast? Because I I need him. Well, not him. I need Odin. We'll see how they do this. So there still could be a few hours between us. How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Oh, finally! <laughs> the, one, the one that I wanted to look at, and Jill was like, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, this one's burnt too! Oh, by the flames. Phoenix Gate, Drake's Breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. Mm. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken 
The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, mm. like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which Interesting. is inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. Oh, don't do we not? No, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. What? You could do that to They're people? Well concealed. The hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. That's right, I'm Joshua Shield. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Oh. Oh. I imagine you of Mikasa and Aaron. I can see that. I can, I can see that in a way. Farewell, my lord. My lady. Travel thee well. In your debt, Yote. I don't know if you're going to need a lantern. It's pretty light outside. Yeah, like the sun is still out. Uh, do what you do what you got to do. It's fine. Far be it for me to tell you. Let's find our friends. <laughs> I'm not backseating. No, I'm not backseating Yote. I was just recommending, you know. Yeah, if that is Ultima in the middle, is that him merged with Ifrit and being able to actually use all the powers of the icons? That would be pretty crazy. Maybe I'll get to that point. And yeah, Kratos, it makes, makes me laugh too. Deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. It makes me laugh too when um, they're like, that's a dominant. Should go put him in prison. And what makes me laugh even more is that there are people who actually try to do it. <laughs> like, right? Like, there are people who are actually like, yeah, we'll try to arrest them. And I'm just like, what? You got to try to arrest a nuke? Like, what are you doing? I mean, I get it. It's your job. But like, you know. Also, Osama, hello. Hope you're having a great day. And Rop Rop. Hope you are too. What the... Ezio? How fair is the search? Cyril well, Figgis? Your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill, charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. You gotta go back to I the hideaway. I Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many Undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. Our assassin's creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? Not at all. The Phoenix is our son. Oh, Clive did not answer. That quicken in his wow. radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Clive is sus of him, and I get it. 
Sakura accept this token? It better not be a fucking seal. <laughs> For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. I'm if sure they will. Nothing further. I'm sure. No. You are dismissed. Your grace. <laughs> All right. My jacket is now covered in seals. It's a canva then. We'll talk about this later. It's got to be a meme. Cyril seemed very. You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. The only the only reason I didn't trust Zero Figures is because Torgo growled. And as you know, Torgo being one of the goodest of boys has a really good judge of character. Ah, Lord Rossfield. I'm afraid I cannot stay to talk. I must leave to collect the reports of our spies. So, you know, now Seal Team 16, down, pretty much. Our brothers and sisters will no doubt reveal themselves to you too. Farewell, my lord. And may the firebird's flame burn ever in your heart. Don't worry, I'm gonna burn this world. The free cities and the sea. Okay. Um, before we go the right way. I'm just gonna run over here and see if anybody's hanging out here, chat. Hold on. It's an open spot, right? Have I had a favorite sword of sure aesthetically? Right way, Joshua, if you backseat, I will ban you from chat. Alright, relax. Um, there actually have been a few I like. The sword he got with the new drip that we're wearing, I liked. I actually really like this sword too. I'd have to look at them though. Your favorite one was the sword that matched his outfit? Yep, Taki, yep. We are uh we are as one, dude. It was it was just a very great looking sword. Oh. Wait. Oh, is this the pack? Well that was completely <laughs> I did not expect that. Well why don't we just have some fun then, chat? Why don't we just wake up a little bit, yeah? Oh, what the? Oh, I think I see. Oh, oh. Ah, I'm just trying to dodge. Fine, fine. This is what you wanted. This is what you will get. I was just trying to build up something. <laughs> Chat, this is what they get. That's right, you fish. That's right. That's right. Little dumb bitch. Next time, maybe you'll learn some manners. Oh, God. Oh, interesting. That was actually interesting because, uh... That was interesting because, um... I actually tried to dodge immediately because I knew they were doing it right. And I actually couldn't. Interesting. Okay. Or at least, for some reason, with the uh, Bahamut dodge, I couldn't. I could try it again. Okay. I'm actually. Hey. I'm like super curious. Hold on. Okay. Maybe when it was more of them, it was just harder for it. Right? Maybe that's what it was. My friends. Time to say goodbye. Okay. That was very funny. <laughs> that was a very funny group of uh, of animals, chat. Shouldn't have messed with the leader of the pack, eh, boy? 
<laughs> is that curved lightning? Um, I, if you're asking about the, uh, the big move I just did, that was Giga Flare from my Bahamut powers. And yeah, I was not expecting to, uh, to run into an actual hunt here. But the area did look like something, right? It did look like something. Yeah. Ambrosia. Come Let's on. Go. <laughs> Giga Rick Flare. Oh, it looks like I'm curving lightning bolts. Uh so with uh it's mega flare is when they rain down like that, Dom. However, I also do summon lightning bolts. That is also true. Uh, and in short, I have a lot of powers, you know. I just I just do it, you know, do what the the heart tells me. Oh. Oh. Then let us be rid of them. We actually are now dealing with the orcs for real. I understand. Let's go to three. So yeah, maybe we're gonna actually get to uh, the orcs who are causing problems. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I wonder, because, you know, we ran into those orcs early on, right? We haven't really seen any of them since. It would be really dope if we start to actually fight, like, the Kuhn or something, right? What would, my, what would I name my Chocobo Steed if I had one? You mean besides Choco Steve? Um... I would get a black chocobo and name him Dernwin. Dernrin. Because Dernrin is one of my favorite names for the, the black blade sword that kills the cauldron born. From a book series I read 30 years ago. Well done, Joshua. Well done. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually true. Um, there, whenever, whenever I play a game, usually if I get any kind of black weapon or black steed, I usually call it Dernrin. Uh, which I think is like Scottish or something. I don't even remember where it's from. But uh I also might call it Leah. Clive. Smoke. Is the city fallen? Because uh the sword of Leah was a legendary blade in the Shinar series. My favorite author wrote the Shinar series. Um and he dipped I think Alanon did it. I'm not sure, one of the druids, but one of the defenders of Leah who was following the group of, of you know, the Almsfords and everybody needed something to like help him actually be able to fight with them. And so Alanon dipped his blade into the black waters of death of the Hatshorn. And so the blade would never dull. And he imbued it with fire, right? Druid fire. So the blade would be black and have green, like, flames that would come off of it. But it would also drain, like, the life essence of the wielder. But, like, within that, it was just a... It was just a godly weapon. died or thing bless all forms of intelligence i bet fried chocobo is delicious as do i 
As long as you don't get cho chocobo meat from like chocobos who've been like just out running all the time and the meat ends up being so sinewy and stuff, right? Oh my god, that poor bird! Jesus Christ! I'm so sorry that bird was getting beat to a beat. Did you guys hear that? It was like. Uh, uh. Did you guys hear that? You would open a chocobo and lamb rust restaurant called Chocobo Peep. A plus for the name. I dare say it might even be S plus. Okay, we chat. We might be meeting Odin sooner than I thought, which is dope. Because I've been waiting. I need my blade. I've been feeling so incomplete. The free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. I guess we should head there. We should hurry. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this city is not long for this world. But if we do fight Odin, like, I feel like there's no way this would actually be, like, the final fight of him, right? Because that mother crystal's still there. And presumably he would protect it. Alright, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Dude, I've said that so many times, Bison. Like, I love this music because Sokin's just done such an incredible job, man. It's like Final Fantasy in a way, but also very much has its own signature. Even apart from 14. Sounds like thunder. Mmm. Don't be fooled, it isn't thunder. You late. Dang <laughs> push would be a blunder. Think stumbled off a cliff. Jesus, Gav is you, Gav. Gav is thick. Good I did never notice it till now. Any trouble on the road? Jesus Christ. Nothing we couldn't handle. I don't know if anybody else saw come? that. Hey, what's up, Mid? Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother. Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. I were even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Oh, Josh, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh. Josh is ready to give it all up, right? He's ready to give it all for her. I get it, bro. I get it. You see something My that you just you boy. just know you need in your heart. Uncle Byron. Oh. Oh. It's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. Oh. Uncle Byron's reaction is always the best, right? So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt yeah. they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man mm. here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Mm. We're gonna have to do. deal with that. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Yeah, what of the free folk? <sighs> Dead, mostly. Oh, Jesus. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Okay. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. Get them out of here. Yeah. 
We split into two teams. We split into two parties. Yeah. I'll go... I will make for the merchant's district. Yeah. While you look to those across the river. So I can steal their treasures. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not, Not at, at all. all. We find the Chad, I have fused! Sentence. Understood. I have fused with them now. Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. And I, I kind of really want to see this ship you've made, Mid. See it's been a while since I've had an trouble, airship. I think I can manage that. I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a raft. I'm like, I thought you said it could fly. She goes, it Shall does. In, in, through the water. And I'm you like, keep thank you, man. Be careful. Both of you. You too. All right, chat. Let's go free some of the chants. I'm starting to see what Chucky had been saying. You've already beaten the game off stream. No, Blood! It's just my, I have fused with the protagonist. The, cl the closer we attune, the more right, we think on. the same way. Let's find those survivors. Oh, that's a great shot. Oh, that's a great shot, dude. All right, boy. Let's see what we got. Stand a chance against those things. All right, uh, Torgal, let's go. Oh, oh, you know what? That didn't look like a fair fight. Allow me to step in. You know what? Now that I think about it, that wasn't a fair fight either. <laughs> Oh, how interesting. Oh, I see. I see what you... I see what you are. All right, boy. Here, boy, let's go. All right, now I can focus on him. Got the parry. Let's freaking go, chat. Let's freaking go. All I wanted was the parry. Not good enough, my friend. Not good enough. You face a god. A god of life and death. Let's show him, chat. Let's show him what the god of dragons can do. Rue the day you met me. Impressive chat. Impressive. <laughs> oh yeah, Dobsky, bro. The more the more I play the combat, also the more I start to do. It's 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 insane. Bro, I pressed R1. That was kind of crazy. Like, I, I actually pressed it. That'll do it. Let's do it, chat. Full power. But what is Protect gonna do against the god, my friends? You haven't thought this through, have you? 
Uh, you just haven't thought it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. Well done, boy. Perish and be forgotten. Oh, I see you. Yeah, you gotta go. Nice hit. Not bad. Gotcha. Well done, boy. Thank you. Torgo, kill. Well done, boy. Is that it? Is that it? Is that all the fury you can muster? What happened to the royal army? I swear, Chad, I swear. There's nothing but monsters here. Hmm. Yes, Taki, me too. I like that the higher level looks different, yeah. Like, he does that shot in the sky, and I'm just like, yeah, this is what I need. You know. You know. But yeah, Chad, you can, you, can, you can see how much I begin to enjoy the combat. Things we're able to do. I do miss my Phoenix Shift. Like, Phoenix Shift was so great that not having it actually makes me sad. But I need my parry. I need, like, having Mega Flare is just great. And then being able to grab and then pull them when they're staggered, right? So I had to, I have, I had to give it up. Which is why we got Lunge upgraded. Bad boy. All right, Torgo, we got something coming up. You ready? Not so fast, my friend. I'm sorry, my friend. Torgo, here. Oh, oh my god. I didn't even, bro. I didn't even see that he was doing that. I'll be honest. Let's go, Torgo. God himself commands it. Let's go. Do it. Let's go. Such power, chat. <laughs> uh, we call that rise and fall. I kind of feel bad. I think they're like a few levels below me. I kind of wish they were higher. But it is what it is, right? Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Domsky, what Bison just said is true. Um, I legitimately thought that I was going to pass out on stream. Uh, like... It was one of the greatest gaming moments I've ever done in my entire life, dude. Frack. All right, boy. I didn't even see that guy on the other side. Do it. Let's do it, boy. Yeah. Take out the mage first. Togo kill. Well done, boy. Let's go. Well done. I'll take it. You know what I you know what I want to perfect though? I want to perfect like I don't want to be in Bahamut stance just waiting for the parries. I mean I or the dodges I can call them, right? I can taunt them and make it happen. But I want to get better 
at just seeing an enemy about to attack, switching, and like being able to do it fast enough, right? The problem is it's a lot of buttons. You have to go to Bahamut, into form, and then dodge. It might not be worth it. We'll see. It's worth it if they're doing like a big windup. Are those sex panthers? That sounded big. Oh sh. So sure Jill must be busy. Yeah, they are. Here. Also, this music is amazing. Okay. Dodge it too early, chat. F it, let's do it too. Boy, come here. I just want to hit max health. I'll take that. You. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen you. Let's do it, chat. Let's just have some fun. Come, Torgle. Well done. Keep it up. Nice hit. Mine's better. Let's show him, chat. I'll take it. Look at the power of a god. Woo! You left yourself open, my friend. Oh, that was interesting. It. Just hit him with the one. Yeah, I stepped on it and I did a dodge, but it almost looked like I triggered it. But I'm gonna assume that the timing just did that. This is the yeah, about where the city's leaders gather. There may still be survivors in sight. Okay. Let's see if we can find them, bro. It's so much fun, and it's so much fun to like try new things out in this combat. You hear a lot of people say that like they basically only. They just do this while they wait for cooldowns. And I just want those people to uh, to branch out and try new stuff. Flare breath, okay. Because it's it's really fun. There's a lot you can do even when your uh, combos are, your abilities are on cooldown. This looks like a place where I would fight some. These creatures. This ultimate reach extend this far. Is going on here? I don't know. What? You know what? Five. Save that for if a lich shows up. Nice. 
I'm gonna save it just in case the lich shows up. Right? You've caused quite the commotion. Finally, I get to fight this but guy. Would expect no less Finally. You, yeah, this jerk. Again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt, and now you're here with an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men like you and me. Is that right? Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind. He almost looks like a dragoon, but he can't be, right? They are yeah, pure. that's a sword. They are divine. But the what? outfit looks so dope. And they are all that remains in this once rock city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. As have I, my friend. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. Chad, I've been waiting. He speaks to me well. I am the man of House Harvard. And you will yield. Okay. Or not. Well, let's see what you got, my friend. Oh, impressive. Nice hit. Impressive. Not bad. You're gonna have to do better than that, my friend. He, unfortunately, he doesn't go far enough. Oh, that one actually does interrupt him. I like it. My friend. This is all you have. Come on now. There's not enough for me to awaken at all. Come now. Do you see a god above, before you? Chat. It's his first time fighting a god, right? It's his first time fighting one of the ancients. Let's go, Torgal. Yes, Torgal! Welcome to divinity, my friend. Chat, look how his will falters. So beautiful. That's true, he did punch Koopa in the stomach. That's true. <laughs> what is this power you're using, though? Seems uninspired. It does. It's just that I expected so much more from our chosen You one. dare say that to me? Perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. <gasps> you have the spear? Watch closely, Mythos. Okay, that's no joke. That's no joke, chat. Yes. Yes. All right, very well. You have excited me. This is what happens. You would use a sword against me? I mean, a spear? Wow. Yeah, it's, I feel like I'm playing Fate Stay Night.
Clive! You absolute monster, Clive! Let's go! Let's go, chat! He wants to see power? I'll show him! Let's go, boy! He asked to see power! He asked! One is seldom enough, would you not agree? Actually, I wouldn't. Holy... Not bad. I admit, I admit that was pretty dope, my friend. But it seems like you can't quite handle that power. Enjoying yourself? Nice try. What? You think that's enough? You think that's enough to stop a god? Drag him to the ground where you deserve to be. Whoa, what a great hit. Chat, this guy! Yes. Yes. What's more for the people in the back? Oh my god. I admit, chat, he started to make me awaken just a little bit, right? He started to make me awaken. I had been, I had been like so tired. Nobody had given me a true challenge, but he. All it took was him gaining one of the weapons that belonged to me. Bison, thank you so much for the 1,510 bits. That's a very uh, specific amount. Thank you so much, Bison. Thank you guys for the GGs. Yeah, that was, uh, at first I was like, whatever. And then he got gung near and I was like, okay. We're actually gonna have some fun now, it seems, right? The vessel is strong. My leash. That's right, Bish. Oh, that's all the bits he had left. <laughs> Impressive. I don't know if 1510 meant something, you know. Clive! You're all right. Of course I am. So you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before. So the Odin arrived. powers was letting him teleport. Well, you did what you could. I wonder if I'll be able to teleport once I gain that power. <sighs> I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Why did that look like he was almost gone? <laughs> Leaving so soon, Mythos. Oh, I was looking for you, Barnabas. It's the king. I was looking for you. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walloon. Get back. My sword, chat. No, you will kneel before me, wretch. <laughs> Chat, 
chat. I'm getting so excited, chat. I'm getting so excited. Come on, Clive! Show him your power, Clive! Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my Lord Commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Oh, shh. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Don't you dare pull out my blade. That music is so good. Don't you dare pull out my blade, you bitch. Try it. Jesus, how... Are those steel-toed shoes? Jesus, why does it hurt us so much? Oh, this music. Oh, sh... This music! You are as weak as all the rest. Joshua! Jill. Jill, wait. Jill, wait. Oh, no, dude. He literally one cut me. Torgo, grab my sword. Good pup. Interesting, though, he has a scar. I wonder if someone Our has cut him before. Reckoning, and they use it as a crush. Such a waste. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Not my Jill, no. Ain't no way. Not my Jill, bro. No. Clive, you better wake the fuck up, bro. Will you be alright? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought ah, him here. Ah, but it took one you slice from him if it were not for you. From Odin's power, dude. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh Intentionally. every sinew? 
allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> It is no Man. trouble carrying comestibles. <laughs> Own with a pay to win sword. <laughs> I know, but you've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. <laughs> Why'd you do it? You look mad or something. I wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake, my boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Hmm. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. Yeah. With the King on board, no doubt. Yeah. Behind here, yeah, I wouldn't sail without him. Heading back to the Crystal. <sighs> Clive. Where's Jill? Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? Clive, get the F up right now, Clive. She kept the king busy while the others stretch you out. It's all right, mate. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the king. I'm sure of it. Yeah, as a prisoner. Good luck catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. What do you mean? It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. I thought it was done. Do you have an idea? Well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... Okay. If you okay. had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose you might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. Mm. I'm fine. Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. I mean, that's true. That's true. We have to save it. So they have taken Jill and heading back to there, no doubt, right? Dude, to think that Odin's power was so much more than Clive's. And yes, Taki, um, Odin Zentetsuken uh, is a one hit kill, cleaves anything in half. Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Yeah, Odin, yeah. Odin is scary. Defeated in a cutscene doesn't count. That's right, RJ. Cole said it was an army. Alright, hold on a second. Oh, there's so okay, yeah, yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot we have to do. Okay. Let me let me talk to Blackthorn. Um and then let's talk to Otto. Let's see if we can do a few things. What's that for, India? The Rune Blade. Long before the Valisian alphabet became commonplace, early tribes across the Twins used a form of lettering now known collectively as runes. While most scholars agree that these runes were merely a crude representation of sophisticated pre-fall writing, some religious sects believe that the symbols hold power that is unlockable only when used in a specific order. Much like those inscribed on the blade of this sword. Not bad, if I do say so myself. 
Not my best work, but it'll do. Good stuff, chat. I need... Yeah, we can make the rune belt. Let's do it. And then the rune crescents, I'm assuming we can make. Yep, they just need another single queen. Okay. And then we should be able to upgrade both of them. Rune belt. Rune crescents. Rune croissants. Chat, I want a croissant, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich right now. Finally, Frostward. Yeah, blew it. I've been waiting. I was waiting. Yeah, croissant. I really want one. No, I do. Yeah, I know. I want it. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I, Come again. Uh, you charged me oh, 20,000 music oh, for a song. Oh, You're robbing me. Talk to Auto Chat, Doctor Otto Octavius. Cole said it was an army of Akashi. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with Akashi? I don't think we have nearly oh, enough uh, for now. I wasn't expecting back so soon. Come yeah, to me claim neither. Your just desserts. Yeah, we need a, a bunch more. Okay. All done. God. If you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. I mean, most of them, right? You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile Sitting of rubble. under a pile of rubble. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. Right. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Okay. Okay. Is it, is it possible that she left it in the workshop and just didn't realize it? I mean, that is possible. It is mid, right? The Dread Comet? Jesus, what a great name. Yeah, that's right, Svarag is level 50. I do want to fight the Magath brothers. Not to be confused with the Magath sisters, right? Amber and the Lazarus are gone. Do you think Mid's ship will have a son? Wow! What a jerk. I believe in Mid. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. But you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Yeah, that's why I'm a little confused as to what we're going to find here exactly. You know? What do 
we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. I mean, I guess. Unless she picks up that habit, right? Uh, I know this is your hideaway, but uh, you really shouldn't be in here. If Mid caught you rifling through her research, she'd have your head. Then mine for letting you. Uh, I mean, I would kill everybody. The first of the discoveries the Olympics gonna help us make. Just you wait, Sid. Just you wait. I would literally cut somebody to pieces. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please. Oh, a little doll. I seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mids. this tucked inside it you telling me she never opened this Mitadol. i know you like your riddles so i reckon you'll appreciate this one of all my inventions this one's the best so when choosing its place of rest i recalled your opus daughter dearest and now it sleeps there in the first going to have to work on that last ride <laughs> good luck oh said you troll he's the Sid's best best invention that sounds promising. It's gonna be she like she is. In first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. He goes. He goes. Sid's best invention is you, man. And he like puts his sword in her throat, and then like she turns into like a spatial storage array, and you find out that she's also like a space creature. I'm like, where is this story going? I, Cause that's that's what he said. It's in his greatest invention. He's gonna be like, my greatest adventure is my daughter. So Clive's gonna have to kill her. <laughs> so unlock the portal. I mean, what do you want from me? That's how this these animes usually go, right? Well, no, it's anime. You she's, she's not gonna die. Possibly. She just turns into a portal. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. She's not gonna die. Okay. She's just a portal. That girl's as tone deaf as a Benji. Unless you mean the orchestrion. <laughs> she couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. Hmm. Wouldn't surprise me. Mm. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. <laughs> Listen, I do what I must for Lordaeron. Neither your words nor your actions will stop me, chat. I feel bad for that dude's back. I feel like every time we see him, he's carrying something else, right? Just looks like he's in, like he's his back is gonna be upset. Who's that? I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. I bet you both broke it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely <laughs> didn't break the orchestron. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. Is it a... See? Wait, is it a vending machine? And you had nothing to do with this. No, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. Oh so we my pressed God. all the buttons. Like this. Clive, you're gonna just let them do that, bro? See? All too well. All right, out of the way. <laughs> Maybe we could have repaired it before, but Clive let him do it twice. It's a Gundam. It? No, I mean, yeah, yes. 
Uh, how about now? You fixed it! You said fixed it! He more than fixed it! Yeah, new music! Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. So wait, skooma? Is that a bottle of skooma? Ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Da 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 da. Nice. Yeah, skooma, you know it is, right? <laughs> you know it is. Your money or your life. Also, I like that he's like, I've never heard Sid's theme, right? Which is very funny because, of course, they haven't. Mu Most of the music in the game does not play for the NPCs. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. What? He was here? Left. Unless oh, Dion. For stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Yeah, Much but what like can you yours, do? I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Hmm. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. I'll try, but you know me, Tarya. You know me. But if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Absolutely. You know me. I'll try, but... <laughs> you know me. Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. Oh my god, is Blackthorn actually upset again, chat? Is Blackthorn actually upset again at something? Can't be. Yeah, he jumped off the cliff out of habit, yeah. It just dies, they go bollocks. Wait, who are you? Yeah, that is Blackthorn, right? Wait, it's not Blackthorn. Oh, it's August, bro. Come on. All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough oh. that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'm actually a bit um worried about him. Oh, and you want my, my advice. God. I'm gonna fire him, so, chat. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave Sphinxy, me this I cannot ring believe you heard me. Him. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... I mean, sure. I'll speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. I'm going to fire him. Cheers, I am, chat. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You can he's gonna be like, ready. he's gonna be like, I was eating some, uh, some shrimp and taters, and the fork I was using was so exquisite. It's just I don't know what I've been doing with my life. I'm gonna be like, bro, from now on, you are only allowed to use forks. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why he would eat it, Bison. I don't, I don't, there's just something in my head. It's just something Blackthorn would eat. I don't know why. I've never had it before together, but I assume you probably put some Obey on there, you know? Oh my God, I want some shrimp so bad. What have you guys done? Bro.
Bro, look at him about to cry. Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. Bro, that's what oh. I said. And you got better things to do with your time. Yes! So let's just get this over with. August tells me he showed you What is wrong this time? That the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Okay, that's a little different. Okay. There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. Okay, this is different. Sometimes right. it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Zoltan, cool? Oh, I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. <laughs> Why do we even so have you here? You can't do anything. You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer is another blow struck in the name of the I mean, of that, that is true. So that I is put true, my heart Blackboard. and soul into my work. And I do because appreciate the curse it. Curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Sultan. All right, fair oh, well. enough, dude. Fair enough. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't... And is going to distract you. We need to do something about it. What do you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's his name is then? Mm. Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. You want me to Dravost, kill him? Eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor. Right? I can kill him if you want me Just to. Just north of the fields of Carava. Yeah, I'm heading there Hello, anyway. Clive. Meet us at Travels as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. All right, all right. Best. I'll see you there. All right. Blackthorn's heart is in the right place, right? So it's not like, like I don't get mad at him. You know, it's not like I'm mad at him. You know, I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him. Okay, let's uh, let's go, let's go meet the chief. See what's going on. Cause if it's not far from here, yeah, it's, it's literally just right there. What's interesting is that like there are a lot of side quests and in a different situation I would do some of them off stream, right? But the free cities and the sea. Number one, in this in this game they kinda give good lore which people want to see, and also some of them do lead to like really cool fights or just you know whatever. Fly so I don't actually want to do them off stream. Like I'm not I'm not rushing it. And like most of them don't actually take that long to do. You can literally knock them out pretty fast. Okay. 
Do I recognize August's voice? I do. So, Sphinxy, I do. I do I recognize I his voice, but I, I can't place who it is. Like since the, since I first heard him talk, I was like, this voice sounds very familiar, but I can't tell who it is. Like in another life, it would be Grogs, but I know it's not Travis. Who do you? Who who is it? Also, what's up, Hoover? How you doing, bro? Kicked out already. Nice. I know them from Agents of Shama Shield. Anyone through? Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. Let me listen. No one's allowed in without his say -so. Oh my God! It is Lance. You, anyway. you look like trouble. Oh my God! I you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. Black door, please. You changed a bit. Have you well started? done, Sphinxy. Well done. No, it isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the chief. Bro, what's about to go down? What's about to go down? I promise I won't throw the first punch. Not good enough for you. What Blackthorn, what are we getting into, bro? Go on then. Huh. Much obliged. <laughs> Imagine Blackthorn just starts killing everybody in the village. And he's just like, if I can't make that ring, nobody can. I have to stop him. He turns out to be Ultima. Imagine how crazy that would be. So this is Dravoged. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Mm. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey. You ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. He'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. He, taught, he said if someone builds a bridge, He'll, he'll walk across it. I don't believe him. If I build a bridge, he's gonna immediately be like, the bridge is too beautiful. And it's good. we're just gonna be back at this where we've always been, chat. Good day. Go safely now. He's gonna be like, this is the most beautiful bridge I've ever seen. I could never make rivets like that. I'll be like, bro, please. Just, just go talk to him, dude. Please, Black Thor. Why are we here? That's how I imagine it would go. Yeah, he'll just fall down the bridge. That's how I imagine it would go, right? He's trying to get that groove back. I get it. I get it. Just to suffer. Hotter. Hotter, damn it. Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. I'm going to kill him. Actually, I'm going to kill intrusion. him. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Oh. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out before things turn nasty. Why do people threaten me everywhere here. I go? What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers flames are next to bloody useless! We're never gonna be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. 
I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That this guy's voice sounds exactly familiar. Where the exit is. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. God, Blackthorn, what All did right. you fucking do here, man? I'm going. Dude, why did he hate you, dude? Oh my god. Please. That wasn't like normal hate, right? That was like super hate. That was like where it's like, I don't, if you, if he stays here, I will kill both of you. Both yeah, that's, you know, RJ, that's what I thought Clive was going to say. I thought Clive was going to be like, I'll heat it up. Hole. The chief will think of something. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Did we just pass out? Oh, we're good. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshd. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All mm. of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft, who labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. Mm. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravos prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. God, it's so interesting because you know it's mean, so though, true right? in this world. Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. Like, it doesn't matter who's fault. They've used crystals the and relied on them so much. Clive, Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. <laughs> Clive goes, no, F him. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter Good of guy, time Clive. before we shared them. I got scared like they're going to make me choose, Chucky. Yeah. Step on the road to I, I was really scared. From the prison of the crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Mm. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Well, a you got a village here. Up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August? Uh, all right then. And I've got a job for you too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. Some what? I need leather for the bellows, and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. That is true. I have killed a couple. Of hunting men. I have killed some salamanderstrons here. That is very true. That is very true. Why is there not a teleport stone here? Maybe there is, and I just hadn't gone to it yet. Or, you know, gone far enough. All right, let's go. And come to me, Ambrosier. 
All right, let's do it. Come on. Hey, take care, Dom. Have a good night. It just makes you wonder what the, like, everybody's been using the crystals for God knows how long, right? But clearly, the Fallen were using, you know, actual technology, magic technology. What would it take to reclaim some of that knowledge, man? Did, did Ultima and his, I assume people with him, not just him, but maybe just him. Just absolutely wreck our sh so hard that they basically forbade us from using a lot of tech at the start. What the? Let's Why are there dead? Quick, shall we? Why are there dead animals everywhere? Is this because they now. bothered the salamander? Hey, salamander strong. Gotcha, bitch. Look at that power chat. Nice dodge, you little bitch. Let's go. Here. Chat, I'm gonna heat it up for the furnace. I'm gonna heat up the skin. <laughs> Black Thor's like, no! Clive, no! Don't break it! I'm like, here you go. Hey. Hey, that was very rude, sir. I hit him with his own pimp chat. Yeah, he said recover it, not melted. You're right. He goes, Clive. He goes, Clive. Clive. What am I supposed to do with this? You burned it and stretched it. For a decent set of Did you use your sword? I told you I needed the leather. What? What do you, Clive? What do you want from me? I'm like, uh, I could go try to get another one. I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. What's this all about then? Don't I'm know. sure it's fine. Some kind of yeah, he said it doesn't melt. You know, it's fine. Trouble finding the skin. Nothing I couldn't handle. Here you go, sir. I didn't even cut it or anything. <laughs> this should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Did you did you talk to Zoltan to make sure he's okay with it though? A month later, Jill's like, where are the well, fuck is Clive? Damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. Where's but Clive? All right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Travoj is saved. <laughs> Sorry about it, Ian. I, uh, didn't take back everything I said. I'm oh, sorry, Chad. I'm sorry. I was just thinking about Jill's, like, in a prison, and she's talking to Barnabas. She's like, I'm not afraid. And Barnabas is like, you should be. Your prince isn't going to come save you. And she goes, I know he will. Clive's true and honorable, unlike you louts. He will come to my rescue, and we will end you, Odin Dominant. And Barnabas is like, see young princess and that was two months ago <laughs> that was months ago and Clive is just doing all this stuff Clive is, he's giving technology to the world he's building steel furnaces 
And Jill's like, what? She's like, where the fuck is Clive? Where is he? And he's just like, oh, there's a village over here. Let me teach them how to, let me teach them how to farm. We got time. Isabel's like, Clive, the sky is turning people a kind of He's like, yeah, I'm fine. I know, but I found a village and I just need to help. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. I was just thinking about it. Oh. Oh, chat. Oh, I feel so bad for Jill. Also, hi, hoodie. That thing you built us is. Oh, my God. I'm like crying <laughs> thinking about Jill, it. chat. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. Yeah, if they need me you anyway, they the go away. Oh. Give this to him, would you? Oh. What is it? Pet Cole Cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will no. do wonders for your steel. Hey, thank Our you, secret fam. for yours. Only fair. Hey, thank you. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, oh. I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Amber will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius, plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed, but he took all his talent and left, gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first, and that's not gonna happen. Chat, you know what I was just thinking about watching him? Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. Yeah. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. Until the next time, yes. So would I. I'm sure he's going to look at a pair of chopsticks and lose his mind. I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. Even now, there are only nice cinders. Surprise for him. No, look, looking at that guy, I was thinking, and this just came to me, chat, and I really want you guys to think about this. Who was the first human to cross his or her arms? Right? I, I, I was just looking at him doing this, right? And I was like, <laughs> who was the first person to do that? Because it's not actually that natural of a movement, right? Like, crossing your arms is actually not that natural. The way we do it. If who crossed their arms see, first? Plenty, do apes actually cross their arms like that? Do they? Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Uh, soon, Chucky. Gentlemen. Like, like, do they actually the cross their arms? But, like, they don't do it because yeah, they've seen humans well, do it, right? One who has to hell welcome. Like, just random the ones in the wild who've never seen humans, do they do it? After you left. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Here you go, bro. I got some cinders for you. Had to go all the way to, uh... Pick and Orlando to find it. How'd you come by this? Random ones do it. Impressive. Mm -hmm. And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. I've never put There's on any no of your mail for a smith than that. Ever. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. I've been wearing the if same armor even a for life, years. Then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. Here, here. See you back on form, Blackfoot. Here, here. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes. 
But I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. Mm hmm. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Sure. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Hey. Blacksmith's Blues 3. Oh, he can make the Ouroboros. A belt, craft a belt to end all bates. Da 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 da. <laughs> so what do I owe the honor? What's up, bro? So will it be? Let me see what you can. Seems like I don't have the piece you need. A stone tongue? Wow, that is really powerful. Holy F. Wow, that's a legendary. Holy sh... Okay, so Comet Feather is from Red Comet, I'm assuming. But I don't know. And then, you know, of course, the Ori we got from... What's his name? But the stone tongue. I'm not sure who that's from. Interesting. And interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I think we. I think we're gonna call it here. I was. I was tempted because this quest is leading to a Marlboro. But I'm like, we could do that tomorrow, right? Start the stream with a bang. Please, sir. Can I have some water bowl? Because, yeah, because next stream, I think we're going to have to take care of all of these side quests here. And then we're going to have to take care of the ones here at Lost Wing. Yeah. And then the ones at Tabor. Oh, and even Baklad. Not to be confused with Baklava, chat. Oh, I have a lot of ability points. So close to getting Judgment Bolt. So close. Ah, so close. I think we would need what? Yeah, I would need like 5,600 more points. Which is kind of insane, but it is what it is, right? Yeah, they're piling up, so we're gonna definitely take them out, right? Um, cause I, I mean, like, I'm enjoying the side quest, right? Even when I'm messing with, with Blackthorn, I do, I do actually really like the side quest. Sid's theme is called Good Bones. Very funny. Very funny, Sid. Of course it is. Of course it is, chat. I bet when he named it, he was just looking at us too. But yeah, all right. 